Okay, so I've never done one of these before, but I, I got a brand new game from Square Enix website the other day, and I thought that I would uh, unwrap it on camera, just because this is kind of neat, at least to me anyway. But yeah, it's brand new, it's never been bought. Um, came this little cardboard box, which I already opened to make sure that that's, you know, what was actually in it. And, let's see the packing sleep. Square Enix store. And uh, Henderson, Nevada. So this is, you know, came from their warehouse in Nevada, apparently. And what it is, you probably already tell, even through the bubble wrap packaging. Is a brand new, never sold copy of Final Fantasy IX, and uh, what's fascinating about this to me is that it's, you can see it's sealed in the plastic. What's fascinating about this to me is that um, apparently Square uh, overestimated the supply or the demand for this game uh, for the PlayStation hit, Greatest Hits release anyway, and they made more copies than. Um, they could sell and so these are just sitting in a warehouse in Nevada to this day 22 years later this is a square or 21 years later Square Inc's 2000 copyright so they're sitting in a warehouse never been sold brand new copies of Final Fantasy 9 which is like a 20 year old game I mean I know that you can get it on the PlayStation Store on the PlayStation 4 like the remastered version or whatever but yeah, this is essentially a brand new PS1 game. And um, I'm going to get into this plastic. So I am going to open it. Here we go. Here we go. The jewel case is perfect. You see the four disc label. Greatest hits. I prefer black label games, but I mean, it's brand new. What are you going to argue with that? Of course, we have the manual. It's a black and white manual. But you know, not ideal compared to some later releases, I mean earlier releases with color manuals and stuff, like I, I got a copy of Dragon Quest 7 which came out the same year and it has this full color manual from Enix. Characters. And uh, yeah, don't come with these anymore do they? Very cool. And we got our discs. I don't know when these, the, um, this edition was manufactured and released. And if somebody does, maybe they can let me know in the comments. I think it's interesting because this is a 2000 game. And I remember, you know, um, Kingdom Hearts 2 coming out in 2000, or Kingdom Hearts 1, sorry, coming out in the year 2002, which has been two years after this. And they were still Squaresoft. And the aforementioned Dragon Quest VII game I have, which I'll grab real quick. See, this actually, it says 2001 on it, right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, 2001. And um, as you can see, it says Enix down here in the corner. But if I flip it over, I just saw it. it still says Enix. But again, this it's kind of confusing because I don't know why this would be Square Enix and this would be just Enix. Obviously, the company's merged sometime after 2002. This is a 2001 game. Kingdom Hearts is a 2002 game. 
and here we have a 2000 game. So apparently this this version was in print after the merger, and I don't. And it's it's kind of wild to think that in 2003 or whatever, even though this is copyright 2000, that they were still printing PS1 games.